Welcome back everyone. Let us now start with part number 2 that is cap. The material used is cast iron. Here we have the side view and let me zoom that. So here we have both side view and the top view of part number 2 cap. So let us draw the rough profile. Click on sketch. Select front plane. Now let us draw a two circles of radius 18 mm and radius 36 mm. Let me just draw two circles and later we'll dimension them. Go to small dimension. Enter the value as 36. That's that is twice of 18 mm. Now select the outer circle, enter the value as 36 into 2. Here, from bottom, we can see that there is an offset. So let us draw the rough outline of the profile. So let us start from little offset and we will draw the outline. Let me remove that. Draw a straight line here. Sorry. Go to line and draw a straight vertical center line. Now trim out the unnecessary part of circle. Now we have the rough profile of plumber block cap. Let us dimension the values now. So distance from center to this edge is half of 44 and it is at a height of 6 mm. Here to here it is 44 by 2 that is 22 mm. Height is 6 mm. Here the Distance is 12 mm and 10 mm. Let us mark that. So here it is 12 mm and here it is 10 mm. Now we have the rough profile. Okay, we are done with. Element. Here also the hole and the through hole will be done later. Here the distance between this point is not given. Let it be around 50 mm because we need we are going to cut out the curved section. Click on return. Go to here the distance is 36. Uh, forget that H because since the shaft is going to pass through it is given as H symmetric and enter the values 36 mm go to sketch here we have to make a through hole of dia 10.5 mm which is at a distance of 31 from the center. Go to sketch, select this surface, click on circle, draw a circle of 10.5 dia. And the circle is at a 
distance of half of the 62 that is 31 from the center. Let us mark here 31 mm that is 62 by 2. Now click on return, select cutout, select the profile, ok and just drag it since it is a group. Now we have to uh, create a groove like structure here, so that is shown here and it is at a radius of 12 mm, that is 12 mm radius. Select the surface. Both the circle and the groove have the same center. So, from the center of circle, draw another circle of 12 mm radius. That is, diameter will be 24 mm. From the same center, we'll draw a circle of 24 mm. Small dimension. Enter the diameter value as. 24 mm. Now click on return and go to cut out. Select the profile, click on OK and just drag it up. Now we can see that we have a groove. Now go to Now let us look at the sketch. Here we are done with all the parts. So let us have the cutout here, which is of a radius 43 mm from the center. So let us draw a circle. Uh, let us cop. Uh, let us draw. A, let us select that surface, and from center let us draw a circle of 43 mm radius. Click here and just draw a circle. Now go to radius and enter the value as 43 mm. Since uh, we have to cut out the part which is out of the circle, so go uh, now click on click on sketch and go to edit profile. Draw a profile outside the circle by connecting it with lines trim out the circle now cut out select the profile and just drag it down now we are done with half half of the cap We have to produce this hole here. Before that, let us copy the body. So go to mirror, mirror copy, select the body and select the plane. So now we have the complete cap structure. Let us make a hole. And this hole is provided for the lubrication purpose so we can see that hole starts with the dia of 6 mm and then it just counters sinks to a dia of 3 mm and then passes throughout so we actually we need to do this by using hole but in order to save time let us just draw the outline profile and then we will make reward protrusion so draw a structure remember that if you select on the surface it will be a curve there may be a zero thickness surface so just make it little bit upward and then start drawing the profile since it is, since it is very small no one is going to check them so let it be just a shape and let us uh, dimension it later Now click on smart dimension, 
going to arc the angle between these two lines as 90 degree into 90 now the length of length here is six half of six that is 3 mm and height is 10 mm enter the value as 3 mm and enter this value as 10 mm let us uh, mark mark this angle as 45 mm don't forget to click on the angle if you are using smart dimension now select these two lines and the distance here is half of 3 mm that is 1.5 mm Uh, now we are done with the profile, go to reward cutout, select the profile, select some sketch and now select the profile, ok and select the axis, enter the value as 360 and we are done with the, so we are now completed, completed the cap profile, cap model, just finish click on tools enter the tool for the cap tool for the cap is given, given that it is a uh, cast iron so in tool uh, in material label enter material as cast iron then click on apply to model file file properties enter the title as cap now go to project document number to and project name as cap click on ok file save as part number 2 thank you for watching video we will meet you on next video Thank you.